growing up, he worked really hard to be a doctor. He was one of those, only from the Visayas and Mindanao, who was invited to do a research on halogenous anesthetics. And I would be the secretary who would write it all down. He always told my brothers and my sister never to be mediocre. When it comes down to it though, he was really a, a dad that really always made sure that that was what was best for us. Uh, Dr. Rogelio del Prado or Dr. Jing as he is fondly called, he has worked in CDUH since 1972. 47 years after to this date, he continues to hone his craft and share his expertise in the operating room. He helped uh, establish the training program because during that time, there was no training program, only preceptorship. With the Philippine Board of Anesthesiology, he was able to uh, incorporate uh, the training, uh, made it a three-year training program for us residents. He produced a lot of uh, diplomates. He always treats everyone, especially his patients, as human beings. So wherever we are, they would always say, Uy, anak de kang jingjing, maayo kay na imo papa nga doktor. Maayo kay na siyang tao. Dr. Jing Del Prado was my dad's anesthesiologist when he had surgery back when I was still an intern. And after that, he became my mentor when I went into residency training. I still see the relevance that he has to this department and to this institution. And the zeal with which he taught me then as a resident, I can still see the same zeal and passion that he uh, has when he teaches our current residents now. And uh, it's like uh, the, the, the fire has not died down even a bit. May God give us the wisdom and strength to follow your example and excellent leadership and sincere care for our fellow men. God bless you, sir. My dear Tio Jing Jing, Dr. Jing Del Prado, thank you for what you have done for the department. Thank you for all that you have taught me and continue to teach and show me and those who come after me. As they say, when I grow up, I want to be just like you. Jing, that's, a, that's the only thing. We're really proud of you and happy for you, Pa. So, um, the only thing we can do is you know, raise our families yes. the way you've raised us. And, just say we love you. We love you, Pa. Because if you care, you want to do something to make your patient get well. Because if you care, you give them reassurance. And for me, reassurance is much more effective than a thousand pills of sedatives. Just listen to the views, even to your subordinates. If they have worked in the hospital for so many years, because experience to me is always the best teacher.